we got some new equipment today, so I'm going to make a couple of unboxing videos and yeah, I'm just gonna check this stuff out, see how it is. Uh, first thing I'm going to open is going to be this lever belt squat that I got from Gorilla Strength. I got my farmer carry handles from them. What else did I get from that? I got some uh, loadable dumbbell handles from them. The guy makes good stuff, so I'm looking forward to seeing what that's about. All right, so I got this thing put together. It is very, very well made. There are some little hardware changes that I'm probably going to make. Like, uh, like these are held in with screws. I'm gonna get some shorter screws just so it doesn't hang out quite so far. And I'm also going to get some cotter pins for the attachment. That way I can just take it off whenever I'm not using it. Oh, also I need to get a better belt because all I have is this cheap ass weight belt that I've had for years. Uh, other than that, this thing is awesome. Uh, I can't wait to use it. I'm doing some squats today. I'm going to be using this during my assistance work. And I'll probably be filming some of that. Oh, also, got this little kickstand, which is pretty cool, but it's a little short. Uh, you can't really, you, you've got to basically start in a half squat to pick this thing up. And I'd like to be able to take the load off completely while I'm standing. So I'm going to have to use a box to kind of raise that up a little bit. It's no big deal. But yeah, I believe he is calling this his landmine drone setup. Call it drones when you put the plates on the uprights. It'll look like a drone. But yeah, this thing's pretty cool and I can't wait to use it. Uh, don't have a whole lot of room in here. So it's a really economical way to have a belt squat and still have a lot of space. All right, so I got this thing all set up. I just finished my main mover, which was just some good old fashioned low bar back squats. And I plan on working this into my hypertrophy work today. I played around with it a little bit, just figure out the range of motion. This is gonna be the first set that I actually do with any kind of weight loaded on it. Even if it is just 45s, I don't know what this is going to feel like since this, I've never used a belt squat before. So this is gonna be a learning experience for all of us. Um, I mentioned earlier that he calls it his, uh, his landmine drone. Now they got the plates on there, you can kind of see how he got that name. So let's see how this thing feels. So I said before, it was a little low to the ground to just use the stand. So I got it sitting on this little box that I got. And once I get it loaded, I'll just be able to move that out of the way. You'll also see this hinge that it has right here. Not only can you move up and down, but you can move laterally as well, which is pretty cool. Move that out of the way so I can just get straight with the hinge. All right, let's back up a little. I forgot to take the kickstand off. Let's pop that. keep on going up with the weight and uh, see how it all works out. All right, so I'm gonna give y'all a different angle this time. I'm gonna put 50 more pounds on here as well. This will probably be my first actual working set. I am going to work this in with some good mornings and some wheel rollouts. One thing I just found out if you're going to set it on a box like I am right now, definitely make sure this is locked. When I put this first 25 on here, this thing slipped. And yeah, somebody's standing next to it and doesn't know it's about to do that. That's not going to be a good day for them. All right, so let's see how this feels. I'll tell you this. Just a 45 on each side felt heavier than a 135-pound barbell. So that's pretty cool. Probably kick that. 
that a little too far away. All right, so why use a belt squat? Well, I like it as a way, or the reason why I wanted it is because I wanted to get some extra volume with my legs, but I wanted to save my lower back for some more deadlift work. The sport I pretend to compete in is strongman. You're not going to see very many squats in that, but you will see a deadlift on pretty much every event. So, if I want to get that stronger, I want to make sure my lower back is saved for the day that I intend to do that. As a result, I'm probably going to start using this for my hypertrophy work. Don't worry, regular squats are not going anywhere. This does not replace a traditional squat by any means. I'll have to try to figure out some way to keep that locked. But yeah, I like this thing. I like it a lot. Can't wait to see where it takes us. So, do I think that the landmine drone is worth the money? 100% definitely. It's extremely well made. That being said, I very much underpaid for this. This is easily worth two, maybe even three times what I paid for it. He's going to charge probably two or three times when they actually come into production. I think it would still be worth it. The reason why I got mine so much less is because I kind of came to him with the idea. He was already kind of working on something similar. So with some of his ideas, some of my ideas, went back to the drawing board with it a couple times. It, we, he's been working on this thing since October. It took a while. But what came out was immaculate. This thing is it's gonna, gonna be awesome. It's very well made. And he's going to make different attachments for it. Uh, so down the road, I'll be able to get a Viking press attachment. Uh, you'll just hook it up a little bit higher on the rack for that. Be able to get a car deadlift simulator. And for a small facility like ours is, that is going to be instrumental because we don't have room for three different machines uh, that only do one thing. So having something so compact when you're not using it, you can take it off, lean it up against the wall, that is able to do so many different functions. It's gonna be great. So yeah, uh, the company is Gorilla Strength Systems, I believe that's what it's called. Uh, located out of Kentucky, you can find them on Instagram, you can find them on Facebook, they make all kinds of stuff for straw man. Guy's a fantastic fabricator, you should definitely look him up. And uh, yeah, he'll take good care of you. So yeah. That's it. If you like the video, like the channel. I'm new to this. I hope you get better at it. Let me know how I can get better at it. Uh, comment down below. Shoot me a message. I don't care. Whatever you want to do. So, until next time, see y'all later.